So first of all, we're going to take a look at how this looks. So as part of the bootstrap framework, we have the ability to show a kind of error message or, or whatever else. So let's just uh, create a partial for this and at least get the styles up and running and then we'll show them only when we have a flash message available. So we want our flash messages to appear within our container. So if you head over to your base template on app.twig, we're going to include a partial here. So let's just include this now and then we'll go ahead and create the actual partial. So let's include and this will be in templates, partials and we'll call this flash.twig. So let's create this file within our partials folder. So let's bring this over flash.twig and of course now we can start to create this. So this is a div with a class of alert and then in here you can say something like alert info or alert error or whatever you want. We're just going to be using general info for now, just makes it a little bit easier. So in here we'll go our message. So let's just type something in there just to test this out. Head over here and we see our message at the top. Perfect. So we've got all this set up so we know what it looks like. But of course this needs to be wrapped in a condition. That condition is if there are any messages waiting to be shown. So what we can do is test this out. Let's just test this out from our home controller. So let's say in here, this flash add message, and we'll keep all of these under just a key called global. So let's just say test flash message. So if we head over to our home page and refresh, we don't really see anything at the moment because we're not taking this and doing anything with it. So over in flash, we want to wrap this in a conditional. Now, again, where are we getting flash from? How can we access this from our templates? Well, of course, we have this in our container, but what we want to do is share this with all of our views. So to do that, very straightforward over in app, like I said, it's on our container. All we need to do is a very similar thing that we did here. So we can just say view get environment. We want to add a global and that's going to be flash and it's going to be container flash. So now we have that flash functionality available in here. Therefore, we can wrap this in the conditional that we need. So if flash dot get message global, then we want to show this. So this kind of leads us on to if you wanted to say show an error, you could do that. So you could have, uh, obviously there are different ways that you can do this, but you could say error, or this could be info, for example. So here you could say alert error. And inside of here, we obviously just need that text that we output. So here we just say flash, get message info. And then here we use the first filter within Twig. So we can do this for here as well. And we can say error. So this is a really simplistic setup, but really this is the only way that we can do it with the uh, flash package within Slim. I've tried to make this less kind of repetitive, but it's actually really hard the way it works. Of course, you can explore other options for flash packages, but this is pretty easy to implement. So we're just going to stick with this one. So now what we can do is over on our home control, let's test this out. We've come away from the global thing. Let's try error. So now when I refresh, and then I go back again, you can see we get test flash message. And I think I've given the wrong class name here. So I think this is alert maybe, no. So I think this might be warning. I'm not too sure, maybe not. I think it might be danger, really odd. There we go. So this is our error. And then of course, if we want to use info for a kind of more general one, you can see it goes blue. So obviously here I'm refreshing a couple of times because we're not really redirecting anywhere. But as soon as we actually set this up to redirect, so for example, if the user, when they go and sign in, enters the wrong details, then of course we will see an error. When we sign up and the user's in and logged in, we can show the info. So we'll hop on over to the next video and we'll set this up for both the sign up and the sign in functionality.